everybody, my name is Maris and I'm an environmental and STEM educator and preschool teacher here at Upper Mainline YMCA. And today I'm going to show you a really easy science experiment that you can do at home because you probably have all of the ingredients you need already in your pantry. We're going to do a little bit of a twist on the classic volcano explosion experiment. So what you're gonna need is some vinegar, just distilled white vinegar. You're gonna need baking soda, and you're gonna need food coloring, plus one secret ingredient. So the food coloring, I added directly into the vinegar. You can add it however you want to. You could put drops right into the jar you're using. If you have gel food coloring, you can try and mix the gel food coloring into the baking soda. Another really interesting tactile experience for your kids. Doesn't matter, either way the results should be about the same. Now, before I pour the vinegar into the baking soda, I'm gonna add my secret ingredient, which is dish soap. So you don't need a whole lot. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna make it foamier and pretty fun to play in. So here we go, I'm gonna pour this in. Three, two, one. There we go. Just like that, you've got your explosion, lots of different colors that you can use. I definitely recommend using a tray. It doesn't have to be this kind of plastic science tray. If you've got a baking sheet or a cookie tray, whatever you have is perfect because all of this stuff is non-toxic, so you can put it on things that you would usually eat off of. All the tray is gonna do is help contain the experiment a little bit, and if this is an experiment that your kid decides to repeat, you can watch as the colors and the bubbles all mix in the tray. So it gives them a really interesting look into the world of art as well. So you're getting science and art all in one experiment. If you're interested in learning more about the science behind this experiment or how to adapt it for all ages, please check out the description. Lots of different ways that we can adapt this for everyone to have a good time. But overall, I just wanna to say to go into this experiment, maybe not looking at the science as much, but looking at the fun, because I think our kids definitely need a little bit of fun right now. So give them the chance to just play, explore, ask questions, and I think they're gonna have a really good time with this experience, and you probably will too. If you have any questions, please let us know, and until next time, stay curious.